friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I'm going to show you two activities that I did with my special needs preschooler to practice counting and the alphabet. These activities are fall themed. This video is going to be super short. I apologize. However, I'm finding it really impossible to do videos right now, even though I love them and I want to show you everything we're doing and I love explaining the learning activities that we're doing. But I have recently had my eighth baby. And so with a newborn and two toddlers and a special needs preschooler and uh, a kindergartner, or I'm sorry, a first grader and a second grader and two other <laughs> older children uh, that are in middle school, it is difficult to get around to doing these videos, obviously, as you can understand. So I'm doing them as I can, as fast as I can. Um, you may hear children in the background doing crazy things, and that's just how it is in this family for the time being. You know, there are seasons that we go through, and so the season that I'm going through right now, my children really need me, and so I'm just doing videos as I can do them when I get the chance, and I hope you guys understand that. All right, let's get right into it and I'll show you these fun activities that we did this week. So the two activities that we did are clip cards. We did counting clip cards, they're pumpkin count and clip, and we did alphabet clip cards, and they're fall words. So let's just show you what we did with the counting clip cards. Now I know they're called clip cards, but we, didn't use, we did not use clips on them, and I'll show you what we decided to do. So for example, let's just start with the easiest one. So each of these cards have pumpkins in a barrel and they have to count the pumpkins. Now what we used are these little fall foam pieces that I got from Oriental Trading a couple of years ago. I'm not sure if they still have them, but um, any little counting piece that you have would, would probably work. But I used these because I thought they matched perfectly. And what he did is he would take a pumpkin, put it on the pumpkin on the picture and count one. And then he would find the number one and take another little piece of the fall manipulatives that I have here and put it on the number one and then that card would be done and then we would do another one let me show you um, here's number two so here's another example he just again he took the two pieces two pumpkins put them on there found the number two put it on there and he was set so then we just went through all of the different cards we counted with the pumpkins and we found the numbers he loved it i have a little clip of him working on it that i will put in this video The other activity we did was this the fall alphabet clip cards. And again, I will leave a link below to where you can get these. I have a whole set of fall activities that you can uh, get off my website. I'll, I'll leave a link below. But um, this set are again the, the little clip cards. And what he did is we paired it up with th these learning letters, these activity leaves, these come from Lakeshore Learning. You don't have to have these. You could pair it up with, you know, if you have magnetic letters, any kind of letters that you have. And what we did is instead of clipping, he would say, or I would say, pie, pie, pa, pa, pa. Find the P for pie. Now he still needs help. I still have to tell him the letter. But then once I say, find the P, P for pie, he would find the P, point to it, and then um, I would give him some choices. So I would give him a couple of letters here let's just grab a couple and they're all leaves which I think is so cute because it, it goes with our little fall theme here and then he would find the P and he would match it to the P just like that and then we will go on to the next card this one is also P for pumpkin let's go to C for crow can I find my C? okay so then you know obviously I would mix them up 
I would give him, I gave him about three choices. And then crow, c -c crow, C for crow. Can you find C? He would point to it. And then I'd say, okay, now find the C leaf. He would find the C leaf and he would match it up. It was super cute. He did a great job with this one too. So here are a few pictures of him completing the activity. So here's some of the choices he had. Pumpkin, tree, and you can see in previous years we used dry erase markers to mark our answer, but I erased it, um, obviously, so that he wouldn't see the answer. Rake, apple, wagon, this one didn't get erased very good, leaves, and so on. And so, yeah, these, these are super cute. Um, so again, I like to just give him a couple choices. I didn't have him digging through this whole thing trying to find the letter because that would take forever and uh, would cause a lot of trouble. So, uh, so giving you an idea, give your child just a couple choices or your students a couple choices and it's easier that way. Um, take out all the letters first. So for example, I didn't want to have to go digging in here when we were doing the activity to find what I needed. So I just went through the cards beforehand really quick, figured out what letters I needed, just grabbed those letters, and then those are the letter choices that um, we used. So, all right guys, I will leave a link below to these cards in the description box. If you're interested, I'll also leave a link to all the other fall activities that are on our website, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye.